of those tacos. It's always the tacos, man, I'm telling you. Uh, the lines are out for Tuesday's game. There's just one game, and then we have a big five-game slate on Wednesday. Uh, so I went ahead and found just a couple of plays. Not going to go too crazy on this game, but we do have the Dallas Wings playing. So that means um, it's going to there's going to be a lot of points scored uh, on both ends. Uh, Dallas can score uh, a lot, and uh, they also give up a lot. So it could be a very nice game. We don't put too much on it, but uh, there could be a lot of overs whenever Dallas is playing. So I'm going to hop right into this. There, you'll see images that come up on the screen. Those will be from a data app called Outlier. There will be a link in the description to give you a seven-day free trial for Outlier. So this first pick is going to be Arike Agumbawale of the Dallas Wings, over nine and a half rebounds plus assists. She's also a very good scorer as well, um, but just honing in on the rebounds assist. Um, because ever since the break, you know, they let go of Odyssey Sims, who is now on the L.A. Sparks, who had a really good game last game. Hopefully we can start getting her lines. They, they don't put her lines up for whatever reason, probably because she just comes off the bench. Um, it's at minus 138. Uh, she's gone over in three out of four games since the Olympic break and two out of two games versus the Aces this season. Um, she has had to take on that facilitator role. Uh, Satu Sabli has also taken on a facilitator role um, in getting assists. Uh, but Arike Agumbawale, it's not like her natural thing, but she still has been getting it done these past three games, distributing the ball to her teammates as well as uh, scoring and then, you know, getting those those rebounds here and there. So the Aces are giving up the fourth most rebounds and the fifth most assist overall to teams. Arike has done great with this line um, in 2024, hitting this 64% of games and 11 out of the last 13 games versus bottom five defenses when it comes to rebounding. Um, so you just add that on with the assist. That's just an outlier uh, insight. Um, that's uh, pretty cool and good to know. Just a little tidbit there. Um, so that is Arike Gumbawale over nine and a half rebounds assist. If you can get this early, uh, it will probably be bumped up by tomorrow. So since I just have two picks, um, if you could, please like the video. If you haven't, please subscribe to the channel. You have a little bit of extra time. Could you just leave a comment for the algorithm? I had a ton of nice comments. Um, I didn't have time during work to reply to everyone. I will get to it, but a ton of nice comments from everyone. Um, really great community you all are are amazing the way that you know even you know you watch these people on youtube and you watch them uh do well and you know you you compliment them and, and say all that stuff uh, and, but even when they do bad you're still saying thank you and all that and i really appreciate that it really um just shows that there's just like the the one percent of people who are toxic uh, but everyone else really is kind and also um, if you haven't tried out any of these sports books uh, there will be links in the description that'll take you there with their promo thank you to anyone who uses these links and uh, i'll hop into the second pick uh, so i'm gonna go with asia wilson over 26 and a half points at minus 102 so this is almost even money right now coming out um, I know she has really struggled. I know that image you see on the screen right now doesn't look very good. It's uh, very red. Um, but going over on her 26 and a half points. Now, why do I like that? She's had brutal matchups in all of those unders. Um, she had the Liberty, who on the season are giving up the third least points. Uh, Minnesota twice, who are giving up the second least points. And uh, Chicago were giving up the six least points on the season, but they have Camilla Cardoso playing more minutes, and she's six seven rookie. Uh, she got a lot of block shots last game. She is uh, very good defensively, and that defense is going to continue to get better for the Chicago Sky. Uh, so very brutal matchups there. But the one non-brutal one was the LA Sparks who are giving up the third most points on the season. And now she has the matchup against Dallas who give up the most points on the season, who just gave up 110 points to the LA Sparks. So she had 34 points against the Sparks in that easy matchup. And against Dallas, she's had 36 points and 28 points um, in two matchups. So she's gone over in both of these. And she seems a little frustrated. She's 
doing everything she can and she took a lot of shots last game and uh i feel like this is just gonna be a much easier matchup uh, against uh mccohen down low i feel like she can just out maneuver her out skill her and uh get easy baskets and she's used to playing against her who's also six seven but just uh, a little bit slower, a little bit older than uh, Camilla Cardoso. This should be an up and down game. And then if you want to get away from those prize picks, tacos, and uh, stop losing your money on those, <laughs> uh, you can check out these pick-em apps. Uh, Underdog Fantasy, Sleeper, Parlay Play, and Chalkboard. You can use promo code FINAROUND11 on any of these. They'll match your first deposit up to $100. Underdog's doing up to $1,000 right now. There's links in the description. I'll take you straight there with those promo codes. And thank you to anyone who uses those. So that Aces Wings matchup. Um, other people are lo- uh, other people I was looking at was uh, Chelsea Gray uh, over assist or points assist, um, and then Kelsey Plum over points um, or points assist. Uh, she did pass pretty well last game. And as far as someone like Jackie Young goes, she's been very off um, since coming back from the break and just about every category. This could be a breakout game for her as well. Um, Not so sure, not too confident in in her. Um, Definitely Plum has uh, been aggressive and been able to score. Um, Gray has definitely been able to to pass and that line has stayed low. If you just took Gray's assist, it would have to be something for parlay that was near like minus 150 as well. So so if you just want to do a two man or two woman parlay, um, it, it, that's Asia Wilson's the one I'm going to go to uh, for the scoring. But I feel like there's going to be a lot of scoring on uh, both ends. Also like Natasha Howard for rebounds, um, but her her payout was near minus 150. I think it was like minus 148 for her rebounds line. That's definitely going to get bumped up uh, for Natasha Howard of the Dallas Wings. Uh, she, she's a very good rebounder. So if you'd like to discuss lines further, I have a Discord. Link is in the description. You can hop on in there um, and discuss uh, baseball, WNBA, uh, NFLs coming up, college football, um, pretty much anything. It's free. I'd love to see you jump on in there. And as far as a recap goes, I do not know because you can see the sun is out. I had someone say that it looks like I'm super tired because the light, the lighting at night, and my 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 eyes are already kind of like deep, but the it looks like I'm super tired with that that lighting at night with those ring lights. But it's daytime and I'm awake and I'm doing fine, so I'm gonna get this edited so I can get some sleep tonight and uh, hope you all do well uh, with uh, Mondays games and i hope you do well with tuesday don't go too crazy we have five games on wednesday so god bless you it's the final round my name is jordan i will catch you on the next one bye